կարող հաղթին այդ պուչ կարումցին, պուչի կին։ Եթք է ասել, որ այսօր երևանում ամոթալի որ է։ As far as the Collective Security Treaty Organization or the CSTO is concerned, that shallow organization, it should be stated that today is a day of shame in Yerevan. The people gathered in Armenia today are the leaders of the countries that congratulated Azerbaijan on its victory in the war and are mocking Armenia, saying that they are allegedly Armenia's allies. They have gathered here and are trying to show that they must solve our security issues. I don't think anyone believes this tomfoolery anymore. However, the Armenian people have different attitudes towards these issues. Some Armenians stick their heads into the sand like ostriches and try not to see the reality, saying that they don't want to hear about what is going on or see what is going on. But the course of history is incessant and the fire that broke out during the war in Artsakh before reaching Ukraine, the sons of our nation were trying to put that fire out with their bodies. There has to be sense in the thousands of casualties that we Armenians suffered. And the only way that there can be sense in those casualties, as well as the tens of thousands of casualties that we suffered, the families that were torn apart and the destinies that were mutilated throughout the past 30 years, is if the Armenian people understand that it is necessary to prepare for that fire. We can't sit and wait with our hands folded. This is a necessity that brings us here and makes us talk about this over and over again. It is not the first time that we are talking about this. This is yet another talk. Fortunately, today there are many more people who are listening and understanding all this than there have been over the past 30 years. There is one last thing I would like to say. Besides security issues, in order for us Armenians to stay far away from Russia, which is confidently moving towards chaos, we also need to be aware of the fact that we do not pertain to that territory in terms of civilization. Look, the leaders of countries forming a part of that Turkic Union have gathered in Armenia, and Aliyev says those countries are friendlier for Azerbaijan than Armenia is. What do we Armenians have to do with that civilization? Our civilization originated in Armenia, and then it moved to Europe, and then we need to bring it back to Armenia. It is the European civilization. We cannot be another civilization. All those Armenians who have changed or converted are now a part of a different civilization. They can never be Armenian again. They are assimilated. There is no other way. We have no future in terms of not only security, but also economy. Take a look at what that backward country called Russia is giving to the world. Does it have any technological advancement? Does it have any vision for the future? Does it have any notion of the fourth industrial revolution? It has nothing. Our future is connected to the West in terms of both technology and economy. We have to become one of the major links for the North-South Road. With this, I would like to conclude by saying that these days are the last days of the Collective Security Treaty Organization. If Putin has arrived or will be arriving, this will be the last visit. That's it. Armenia will be closed for that country. We have nothing to do with countries that murder and terrorize. Long live Ukraine. Long live its heroes. Bajan Ortagervek, Azgain Jorovertavarakan Beveri, YouTube Alikin.